Good morning. I'm Pastor Tully here with my Wednesday morning message. You know, I've been thinking a lot about uh, Lego blocks lately. Duplo box, actually. My two-year-old loves to play with these things. She likes to build towers, so, you know, she sticks them together and, and see how high she can build it, you know, like this. And, and I tried to get her to, like, sort the colors, but she kind of likes it random. Um, but, you know, she builds these towers, and, and she realizes that, that the taller you go, the more unstable it gets. So, you know, so about this is about as high as you can get. You see, that's pretty unstable. It kind of wobbles around a lot. Um, but one of the things she's learned, even at her young age, is that if you take, like, a wide piece like this and you put it on the bottom, <clears throat> well, all of a sudden it's... It's a lot more stable. It's not. It's not stable in this direction, but it is a lot, a lot stronger. Um, what she really likes to do is to build these these things that look like this. And so she's got kind of one uh, double block down there at the bottom, and then these uh, pieces that go up on the side. And you know she builds them up. She keeps adding blocks, and they get taller and taller and. And she adds some to the other side, but but what happens is uh, when you got the two like this, they get they get pretty unstable. And as she's fiddling around with it, because she's sitting on the floor and not at a table, they, they tend to fall apart like this. And then she gets real mad, and, and if it happens two or three times in a row, she throws everything on the floor. Uh, and it's kind of funny, but also kind of sad. So I've been trying to teach her that if you take another one of these double bricks and you put it on top, kind of join everything together, well, all of a sudden now it's it's a lot stronger. Um, and, and actually what's even stronger than that is if you take uh, another double block and somewhere in the middle, you put it in the middle. So you've got, you know, a few here, you got another double, and then a few here, and, and well, that gets, that gets real strong. Um, and of course you can take, take two of these, that are like that, and you can build a base. So here's what we got down here. Uh, so you take you take two of these, and you put them together like this, and then you take another one just like it, and you put it crossways. Another one next to it, cross the same you know direction. So you got two going this way, and you got two going this way, and then you put all that together, and that. That is pretty, that is pretty sturdy. Uh, and then you take, take this thing that we made before and you add it to the top and, and we're able to go now a lot, a lot taller. I don't even know if I can get this on camera. See, I gotta tilt the camera up to zoom out or something. Uh, but, but we're getting up near the edge of the height of what's possible. Um, and of course, you can. We can go even taller. We build our structures. We get our little pieces like this. We join those together. And then uh, somewhere, these guys, those together. And we put this whole thing on top of this whole thing. Uh, we're getting, getting pretty tall, but but we're getting unstable. Now, if we want to make it really stable, we build something like this. And we put that whole thing down on the bottom. Keeps everything nice and locked together and then we can go up here and we can add this whole thing to the top and as you can see this is pretty tall and i would say it's pretty stable you know sitting on top of this table it's taller than i am um, now, now, what's my point here? What's my point in this whole thing, <laughs> building Legos here at the church? You know, that's not uh, what I do all the time. I actually got in trouble in my first call in my first church because I spent too much time playing with Legos. Uh, that's a story for another day. Um, anyways, the Legos, I think that the, the Legos are a really good metaphor for our faith. 
because our faith is like a tower. And we have all of these different blocks of theology and different understandings about God that are all sort of built on top of one another. And if we think about, you know, this block here, if it's, if it's not real sturdy, if it's not real stable, then everything above it can come tumbling down. And then, of course, you know, we find out that, oh, this block, what we believe about a certain scripture, or about a certain story, if something begins to question that or our understanding changes or we grow and we learn new information and things change, well, if this block disappears, does the whole tower come crumbling down? Uh, and, you know, if a block up here if it disappears, I think that's okay. You know, we lose a few blocks at the top. But if a block in the middle or if a block near the bottom, if that begins to crumble, then our, our faith in God can begin to crumble. Uh, so we want to have a strong foundation. We want to have good theology at the base of our beliefs. Good theology like we find in the Apostles' Creed uh, or in the Lord's Prayer. So that's my message today, is that your theological foundation, the base for your beliefs, that that would be strong. Along those lines, I'm thinking about doing another series this summer, a, a video series, maybe on the Ten Commandments, maybe on the Apostles' Creed, maybe on the Lord's Prayer. I don't know. What do you want to learn about this summer? All right. Take care.